Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy and here we are on part 18 and we are heading to transfiguration class and looks like we have to wait out the day so that's what we shall do and let's see what My we have to learn like to let's check it out me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Alright, well looks like we are going to learn the Transfiguration spell. And it looks like a U that we're gonna cast out backwards. It kind of looks like that. And I think that just about rounds out our spells that we can learn in this game. Besides the unforgivable ones such as Avada Kedavra and Imperio. Because we done. did learn Crucio earlier, I believe those Can are the only two the left sticks? that we have to we learn. may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. And yep, let's take a look. Those are the only two left, so we've unlocked most of the spells, so Let's go talk to Professor Weasley and see what she wants to discuss. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information, connected in any way to Professor Fig. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. That's a cool spell to learn, so let's practice that real quick over here. And I wonder if we can use that against opponents. We'll see. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. All right, so it looks like Lodgok has a lead for us in terms of getting into the ranks of Ranrock. So let's go find someone that talks gobbledygook. I think we remember hearing Amit Takar saying he could. So let's go talk to him and let's continue on and solve the mystery with Lodgok. All right, so let's go talk with Amit. I believe that he will be at the astronomy tower. At least that's where the marker's kind of indicating. So hopefully we can find Amit there. 
and he can help us with Lodgok and help translate Gobbledegook, the goblin language for us. I wonder where he learned how to speak it, and that should be a skill that'll come quite in handy for our quest against Ranrock. So there he is, and let's go Hello talk there. to him real quick. Hello, Almeet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Alrighty, looks like he has to brush up a little bit. Looks like he shall help us, so that'll come in handy. Rebellion. And looks like we have another field guide page. Looks like it's the astronomy telescope. So it's cool to learn more about these areas throughout Hogwarts and to collect it for our field guide. So let's go ahead and meet Lodgok near the mines. So we'll see you over there. See you in a minute. And it's getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Looks like Sebastian also has an update for us in regards to the dark arts that he's trying to find a cure for his sister for. But for now, we'll meet Logok and then we'll carry on with Sebastian later on. Alright, so we just fast traveled to the mines in which we're supposed to meet Logok and there he is 30 minutes away and we'll just find our way through this machinery and see what he has to tell us and the information he has on A friend Ranrock. who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker, if we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. 
Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. All right, so looks like we have to find what Logox sending us to go through. And we can learn more about the operations. The but looks like the mine is right over here. So let's see if we can get through. And we have to be undercover. Just like some of those chests that we see, that'll let us in if we're invisible. So it looks like it'll be another dungeon type of level. So let's go through and find so what we're supposed prepare to. prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive work. Good for Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I've read about mines like this. Seeing one is something else altogether. I'll meet you'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. Well, it looks like we have some of Ranrock's goblin loyalists protecting this mine over here. So, let's go downstairs. Let's defeat these guys as quickly as possible. And they're level 25, which is green. And we're around that level as well. So, they should be easy for us to defeat. But it's cool to see that we got Amit helping us too. And... We've seen, you know, all four houses that we've had to help. We've helped Natty, who's, you know, our Gryffindor housemate. We got Poppy, the one who loves the Fantastical Beasts, who's a Hufflepuff. And now we got Amit, who's a Ravenclaw, helping us with Gobbledegook and the Goblin language. And then, of course, we have Sebastian Sallow of Slytherin, who is delving into the dark arts, who has taught us Crucio. And I suppose we'll probably learn more of the last two unforgivable curses from him as well. But I wonder how he will dwell into learning Avada Kedavra. Because that's, that's some pretty heavy stuff right there. So 
Let's keep Next following the markers and let's See hope to find, find Ranrock's uh, plans right they over here in the mines. More plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. You know, I'm not. I'm not sure if I like these dungeon type of missions as much as I do the ones that are in the open world because once you're in these dungeons you're limited to the spaces within the dungeon and you can't freely roam to the open world and most importantly you can't fast travel and you can't use the flu network so if I'm translating this correctly and I think that I am they're building something rather large but what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. I wonder what type of metals and stuff the loyalists, the goblins are looking for. I wonder if there's any rich metals or anything like that. Or maybe some of the ancient magic that, you know, three parties are searching for. Professor Fig and I, and, you know, Rookwood, as well as Ranrock. And I wish I didn't throw that one at that opponent because his health was so low, I could have used it on someone that had a full health bar. But let's make quick work of these goblins, and I'm, I'm kind of wanting to use some of those uh, unforgivable curses against our opponent because I'm pretty sure they do heavy damage. And from what I've seen throughout the internet is that it doesn't really affect whether or not you become a dark wizard if you use those types of magic curses at the uh, opponents that you fight. Kind of funny how Lodgok was not very impressed with Ahmed's understanding and capability to speak the gobbledygook language. And so, who knows, you know, if Ahmed was over saying his abilities in the language or if he can actually help us out in the mission because I know in combat he's helping us quite a bit although we can handle ourselves but you know extra hand won't really hurt so it's cool to see all those gears moving and all the details that they have with a lot of the machinery throughout this mine and I feel like there we're really, really setting up the last bit of the story game because once we figure out Ranrock's plan and once we get through the trials, I'm sure, you know, everything will all come together and we'll figure out what we need to figure out. But let's go deeper into the mine and... Let's go find this plan that Ranrock has, and I'm curious to know and curious to see if it's just going to be laying out there in the wild or if we have to solve puzzles to unlock the plans, maybe hidden in the Devil's vault or something. Nasty That'll be cool to see. Careful. And ooh, an we got some devil right snare now. there, so we got to equip Lumos, Lumos so... We don't get attacked by those. And those things sometimes come out of nowhere. And sometimes they have this scary animation where it it makes you have a game over screen in one attempt. It just engulfs you and makes you trapped in the devil snare. So if it's like a small amount, as we see here, it's not so prominent that happens. But if there's a whole bunch of double snare lying around in one area, it can it can prompt that screen. And I'd say that's one of the scariest parts of the game that I've seen so far. And man, if I encounter that in real life, I would I would be frightened so much so. I would probably be acting like Ron Weasley and the sorcerer's down when he gets trapped in devil snare and i just saw one of our goblin opponents have a red level 27 against us so that's that's not what we want to see so maybe that means i have to explore the world a little more and level up because 
these goblins and these opponents might be difficult to overcome in the future. But one thing I've certainly noticed about this game is that the opponent's level kind of corresponds with the level that you're at. So that's that's a cool mechanic to see. And it's not like Pokemon where certain areas are certain levels. So I think that's really cool about this game and can make it challenging for the players that play this game. I'm just really hyped and excited to see how this game will progress moving forward because man that that intro was something else it was it was awesome it was awesome so we'll see if the climax the ending of the game will live up to the opening and we'll see we'll see that'll be interesting to see and in your guys opinion do you think this game will be on sale pretty early on or do you think that it'll hold its price well like some of the Nintendo games that we see because when I was growing up Nintendo games were pretty expensive so I'd wait for the sale but when we went when we wait for the sale the discount was very minimal compared to some of the games that we would see you know throughout the PlayStation and Xbox, like Ubisoft games, EA games, those would always go on sale for pretty cheap. But, you know, those Nintendo games were rarely, rarely on sale. But that'll be interesting to see. So the one I got for this console was, I think, the... Dig I got the Digital Deluxe, I think that's what it's called. So it had the Dark Arts pack and then the Dark Arts Arena as well as the PlayStation exclusive Hogsmeade Village Quest. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, I, if the collector's edition was really mind blowing and really cool, I probably would have bought it, but I wasn't really excited with having a plastic shaped book with a barely levitating wand and for, for 250 bucks or whatever it was going for so you know I was very content with getting the game a couple days early They're building enormous drills bigger than this mine could contain let's get out of here and tell Lodko what we found all right well there we go we just found out what Ran rocks up to looks like he's creating giant drills to try and unearth areas of Hogwarts that store probably the ancient magic that all of us as parties are trying to figure out so let's find a way out of this dungeon of backtrack steps. Um, but they're saying there might be a quicker way so we'll see if there is if there is that'll be great because you know, backtracking is a surefire way of getting back, but it might take longer than we'd like, so let's let's try find a shortcut and a better way for us to get out of the mines. Yeah, if that wasn't prompted, I probably would have backtracked, but looks like that might work, and it sure does, and it brings us an elevator. And that I hope will be the quickest way out of these caves. So let's get out of here with Amit and let's report to back to Lodgoth about the information before. that we found about Ramrock's operation, which was him to, we can get having here. blueprints to make these giant drills to mine around the Hogwarts area. But this game looks very stunning on the PlayStation and on the xbox i'm sure as well but i i personally got it on the playstation just because i thought the extra quest would be you know more than enough for me to want to lean We're towards the playstation the and Look, the you know i have yet to play that Welcome quest but indeed. we'll see we'll see we'll see when that comes up so super excited to play this level get 
out of this level, get out of this dungeon, and, you know, finish the game as soon as possible because I'm I'm just having a blast. So before we go to Logok, looks like Amit has something he want to say, so let's happened. go talk to him real quick. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Logok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade I love someday. how Amit's so keen on writing his Without book. Further ado, and I'm curious to you. know if he gets mentioned in any of the Harry Potter series or, you know, if they might retcon and include him writing a book or something. But let's discuss with Logok real quick. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research and I know of the container. Ah, the reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but... I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. It's all coming together. It's interesting to see that the trust that Logok had with Professor Fig's wife and to see how Goblin Kind can interact with Wizard Kind as well. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you know what. 
Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. That was an awesome mission, and I'm really having fun with this game. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and are enjoying this series, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Thanks for watching.